are dead to me cause what you welcome to yet another episode i am princess promise your relationship coach today on today's episode i'm going to be telling you some things some mistakes we make things we do that doesn't or won't earn you the title missus or wife this is for single ladies only things you should know that you do and you take for granted you take for granted things that wouldn't guarantee marriage things you do and think maybe this thing i am doing is right it will win his love it will earn me a place in his life or house these things are little things we take for granted but my dear it won't end you it will never end you that title it will never make you his wife if he doesn't want to or if you are not his god or ordained wife these things i'm about to enlist to you now shouldn't be overlooked because they are the things that will help you the first point we are going to be looking at today is living or staying with a man that isn't yet married to you. This is the thing that is very normal. The things that is very, very in existence in this our 21st century, our jet age, where we are enjoying life, where we think we are doing the right thing. Number two we are going to be looking at today is getting married to a man, getting pregnant, sorry, getting pregnant for a man that isn't yet married to you. So I'm going to be taking it bit by bit. So let me go back to the first point. I'm going to take the first and second point first before I go to the third one. Then now let me go to that first point, which is living or staying with a man that isn't yet married to you. My dear, this thing has been happening. It is a normal thing. In fact, there is no place you go to today that you won't see it happening. How can you pack your things as a woman and go and live in with a man that isn't yet married to you? All your qualities, your potentials, the things that would have made him run to your parents to make you his wife you are selling it for him free of charge you are giving it to him serving him on a platter of gold you aren't doing anything to keep it so that he will come to do things he will come to marry you legally and make you his wife you wake up in the morning you perform the duties of a man and woman at night in the morning you wake up serving breakfast time for lunch you do when it's time for dinner, you do it. You wake up, you do all the laundries at home. You clean his house. My dear, and you want this man to rush and come and marry you. What does he want to get? He has seen everything. You don't deny him anything. Whatever you want, you offer him. Whatever he wants, you are there, you are available. You make yourself available all the time for him. A man is supposed to miss you. A man is supposed to beg you, come and do my laundry. I want you to sleep over at my place today, you say. This one, you want me to be sleeping like this, then come and marry me if you want me to sleep. Yes, you can sleep. Once in a while you do, if it's necessary to. But not for you to pack your things from your parents' house when this man isn't yet married to you. You go in with him, moving with him to his house. To do what? Uh -huh. See, finish, go enter now. What does he want that he cannot get from you? And he will call you, maybe he's in the office, he call you what he's supposed to be doing to his wife. Now he's doing it to you. You expect him to come and marry you. What is he marrying you for? I want a good soup you prepare. Tomorrow I want to go now. I don't eat stale food. You have taught him not to be eating stale food. How will he marry you when you have already given him 
all the benefits of the married woman. You are only teaching him how to live with his wife, my dear sister. So tomorrow, if he doesn't, if he end up not marrying you, or he doesn't marry you, no matter the causes you lay, I tell you, it will not work. <laughs> because the time you're supposed to have time, go and be looking for your own God ordained husband. You are staying with a man. A man that is not yet married to you. A man that is not your husband. After living with him. You will even be with him. I know of a case that happened. The girl was there in the man's house washing. While the man was performing another girl's traditional rites. And people around said, when you advise her or tell her things about the man, she always sells them to the man. So they refuse telling her neighbors, people were aware. She even saw canopy in the man's compound and she was like, what is this canopy for? Say, it's for something, you know, somebody is coming to see me today, one important personality. Someone is coming, you soon see my friends. And she was washing, doing the man's laundry. The man was marrying a smaller girl. She was living with this man for like eight years. She was living with the man as a wife now. And then the man saw no wife in her. The man went for a wife. Now who is to be blamed? No matter the cause, no matter what you do, my dear, you're wasting your time because it will not work. It will not have effect. God never, God is not in approval. God never approved your relationship. God has not ordained it. So whatever cause you lay is not working. It isn't your husband. So what, what are you laying cause for? Did he force you to pack from your parents' house? He didn't force you. You went alone in the name of what you called love. Blind whatever you saw and you were calling love. So, my dear, do not make mistake. Because that can never earn you a place. It can't earn you that, that title called wife. Know this and know this. And then let's go back to the number two point, which is getting pregnant or giving birth for the man that you aren't yet married to. This is a very, very vital and essential, in fact, let's call it crucial matter. Because this has taken over the globe now. It is now a normal thing. If I am lying, ask Sophia Momodu that gave birth for the widow's first child. What happened? Others did it because they know what they want. Giving birth cannot automatically make you somebody's wife. Getting pregnant, some people do it to hook the boy. It doesn't work for everybody. I have said it before, as our faces are, so are the grace we carry. It does not work for everybody. It can work for A, it won't work for you, that is B. Getting pregnant for a man or giving birth can never earn you. It won't and can never earn you that title of my wife. It's very sweet, right? To be called my wife. Giving birth can never put you in that position. You can give birth to a man. All right, the, the child is my child. I will take my child. I don't have anything to do with you. Go. Another woman is out there, ready. Even if the man, even if you give birth to four, or some other person gives birth again, for the man, another woman is ready to marry that man. Even if the man has four children or five, the man will say, no this and no peace. You cannot automatically force a man that doesn't want to marry you by getting pregnant just to hook him. You will not. It will work. It doesn't work everywhere. And then now we'll be going at number three, which is doing small things on my head. And then number four, which is posting you on social media, all social media platforms.
So that's number three, which is doing smoothing on my head. <laughs> this is a matter that I have really settled, as in, I have settled families, I've settled people, I'll call them that are still in relationship or cutting, because there is nothing like do smoothing for my head. There is one hair that I used to make, more hair I always make my daughter play with my daughter because she is not, she does not have full hair. Her hair is not full, it's scanty, a, bit, a little bit scanty. So there is one style I make on her hair, I call it, they don't do small thing for your head. <laughs> it's funny, right? This category of people, when you sit close to them, you will not hear anything. They are the people that used to do, my, they are the orgas too. I call them the ogas, my ogas, my oga, my oga. No, it's not my oga by him. No, my oga gives me. No, my oga do pay him money. My do this hair. Hey, my oga, my oga they try you. No, my oga go here. No, my oga do like this. My dear, nothing like do smoothing for your head. Go and ask your mother. If that's how they used to do smoothing on the head, you wouldn't have been conveniently answering bury your father's name and live in his house. There is no place. Or nowhere, or any, even legally, traditionally, nothing, nobody recognized anything like smoking. They have not done something, they have not done something. Stop disturbing people. Eh, I'm not going to live under my husband. The man will now say, Am I married to you? Say, But you don't do smoking for my head. Who's smoking when you do for your head? Your head, now coconut head. Where them would they do smoking? Your head, now coconut head, to do smoking. Where them would do smoking for your head? Stop. That small thing. Allow them to do complete thing, full thing. Make them know they do that small thing for your head again. Make them they do full thing for your head so that you will have right to be called a wife. Let them do big thing for you. Big traditional marriage, big white wedding, big legal marriage, and perform all traditional rights that is needed. Don't permit small thing again, my sisters. I beg you, those of you that are still in this category, do not permit it again. And then I'll be going to the number four, which is showing you off on all social media platforms. Posting you on Instagram, Twitter, all his handles is not a guarantee that you'll be his wife. Know this and know this. Even if he writes it, meet my wife, my wife to be, my this, my that, showing you everywhere. Entering Okada with you, jumping keke, hopping keke with you is not a ticket to marriage. Putting you as a screensaver, wallpaper, is not a guarantee that you, you will be called his wife, my sisters. It's time for you people to wake up. It's time to know your place. It's time to know what earns you the title of a wife. It is not by posting you, showing you off. These things are just carrying your God or the ordained husbands, people that you would have called my husband, who see you wear this one now that is your original boyfriend, is posting you all over social media platforms. And your own opportunity of getting. Your husband will pass by, and then you know that men don't get old. Even at 60, they are still getting married. Look at that damn Soshomole that you say is very ugly. Hey, can you talk of Ned Woko that got married to Regina Danis? They don't have age. Men do not have age. So don't let them deceive you. To when age will pass you, please. No this and no peace. Give him, sending him your pictures, forcing him to post on social media, on him doing it voluntarily. Tell him no. Now we are going to be looking at, talking about the fifth and the sixth, which is going everywhere with you and introducing you to his family. My sister, introducing you to his family, to his parents, to his mom and dad, anyone, maybe his friends, colleagues, is not a guarantee that he will marry you. He can leave you tomorrow. 
don't just be comfortable. His mom knows me. His dad knows me now. Every his family members, his sisters, they cannot stay a day without calling me. They look out for me. They all love me. He will marry me. Hey, you be comfortable. And rest assured that you are seen husband. Change is inevitable. Change happens always. Even as I am sitting now, something can change. You have heard of shift. They can shift you. Shifting you is not is not hard. His mom is not the one that will live with you. His dad is not the one that will live with you. No, his siblings. So they cannot mandate him or force you on him. No. This decision is his to make. He is the only one that can make these decisions. Decision of marriage cannot be influenced by anyone except those involved or the individual involved. So, introducing you to his family, colleagues, loved ones, and the rest isn't a guarantee for you to be called a wife. When once you know these things, I have told you, then you will know peace. Going everywhere with you, going to events, parties, maybe when the as company end of year party and the rest, isn't a ticket that you are his wife. Even if he takes you that still shows you to people, introduces you to people that you are his wife, still will not earn you. It isn't going to earn you that title. Showcasing you everywhere, taking you, partying with you, showing anywhere they say come with wives or couples, he will go with you. Has not yet. It won't even. It can never make you his wife. No this and no peace. The only thing that can guarantee you to be called a wife of someone are self-discipline. Self-discipline is what will make you not to go and pack and live with a man that isn't your wife. Self-discipline is the thing too that will make you not to get pregnant for a man. Self-discipline won't even let you allow him do small things for your head. Self-discipline will not allow you to climb an okada with him when he's not your husband. Self-discipline will keep you in a place until he will come, you are sure that he's ready to perform the marital right before he will start taking you places to introduce you to people. Self-discipline that can earn you that. Self-respect. Self-discipline. Great attitude. You know that attitude is like a flat tire. It cannot drive you to anywhere. Bad attitude is like a flat tire. It can't and won't drive you anywhere. It will end you on the road. It won't let you get to your destination. So it will not let you to be called a wife. <laughs> no this and no peace. Work on your attitude. Work on your character as a girl, as a lady. There are attributes, there are characters, there are attitudes you need to possess that will earn you this title wife. Understanding, understanding the person you're cutting with. Knowing that you are both imperfections will earn you that title, will earn you that great title. These are the things. Yes, love. Love is also involved. Love is a great one too because without love, nothing. Love earns you that title too. So my sisters, this is strictly for single ladies. These are the attributes you need that will earn you the title of a wife. If you're involved in the ones I have listed, the things that wouldn't take you 
or that would not qualify you or that won't guarantee you as a wife, please desist from it. No matter how long that you have been involved, no time is late to start. Go back to your father's house. Those laundry, go and do it for your parents. Until when he marries you, then you start doing it for him. Thank you so much for staying to the end. Thank you for always coming back to watch. Thank you so much. God bless you. I love you. And I know you all love me. Thank you. I appreciate it. God bless you. Do have a lovely day. Thank you.